vibe out. And, um, and where's this located? It's uh, it's in East Edo, East Downtown. Okay. Um, and what's it called again? The Bison. Well, the front part is called Now, and then the the other part that's in there is called the Bison Speakeasy okay. Conservation Hub. So, um, it's just a hub, man, for people to just come out and chill, like, and also for me to. I wanted to do something like beyond just like you purchasing something like online, you know. That was mm-hmm. like I really don't like that, and people always get onto me. Was like, man, why, like why are you meeting up with this person to give him to it, just ship it to him? It's like, yo, if I can have that interaction with someone like face to face and like meet you and say, yo, I really appreciate you buying this, and I really appreciate you, you know, supporting the brand and shake your hand and look you in the eye. That's way more valuable than like me shipping something to you and having a card in there saying like hey thanks for you know i don't really like that so sure. mm. so i created the um the speakeasy so that people can kind of you know come through and like interact with me man there's so many cool people in houston like everybody's doing something dope like come politic with me like let's just hang out and like talk you can, maybe you can get you some whiskey you know we feature like certain different whiskeys and stuff like that but um not only that but just vibe out me cool people and stuff mm-hmm. like that so yeah. Now, how do you juxtapose? Like, I mean, I know you were saying earlier, you got your wife who I, I'm assuming this is a wife and your stepmother that are helping out with the the business in. Yeah. How do you juxtapose that against? Because you said, like, you're a fan of Nike. For sure. You like the art of Nike. You like that, and and Nike is also a fan of the mass production mm-hmm. and the making money. And I feel like they're 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 from talking to you. There's kind of a, a this balance of I'm making this clothing as art, which I want to sell, but I'm also making art, which I kind of want to give away. <laughs> Just talk and hang out with people. So, how do you balance out those two? Well, it took it just it took it's it's fluid now. It's a machine now. So, like the prices are set and all that. But it just it basically just took me understanding what I'm good at mm-hmm. and letting people. A lot of people don't like to give up control, but like understanding like sometimes you do have to give up control and let people make some decisions for you like it's okay to let people make a decision for you that's fine you still a boss but understanding like okay look i'm not good with this once this is set this is gold and this is what it's gonna be and then you let you you do the things that you're good at which i'm just good at the creative part and all that mm-hmm. but the balance man it is is it's just the only way i think things work fluidly so to speak if is if everyone in the entity is maximizing their true uh talent and the things that you're not that good at you let that go because yeah. that energy can be like focused on like and I and since I've since I've done that the I heard a bison just been fluid, man. I mean, you know, we don't, we don't have any outside investors or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a small operation still. I'm not saying it's big, but it's a, it's an operation that, on a business aspect, it's just growing, and and, and like more opportunities. So many opportunities, not a crazy amount, but opportunities that I'm so excited for that I'll be wanting to speak about. But it's like it's a time and place for it. It's cool, <laughs> like you know, it's like. But everything just I I realized once I once I operated in that way you know the business grew and it's just growing from that point yeah. now are you opposed to you growing into like a Nike like entity where it's heard of bison is you know Everywhere. shipping all over the world yeah. and all that other kind of stuff or or, or you know because some artists are like nah I don't want to do that like right. some artists are like yo I want to keep it mm-hmm. in this pocket that I can control yeah no, I'm really not, man. The idea for her to bison is for it to be like furniture in your life. Like it's functional. Like like we know that we need to sit in these chairs, right? Mm-hmm. We know that we need chairs to sit down. We don't really pay attention to them, but they're there, right? And that's how like I want her to bison to be like just furniture in everyone's lives, like whichever. Like right now it's fashion, but it could be we may be doing furniture next year, you know what I'm saying? I just want it to just exist in everyone's lives like day-to-day lives and the creative aspect doesn't stop with just fashion, like shoes, or anything like that. Like my mind is like beyond that. Like I, I'm just, I look at everything in like that way. Like I look at whatever it is, like in a way, like okay, how can I tweak this? How can I, you know, like that's just how it is. So yeah, like I wouldn't be opposed to like having a herd of bison be um, something big like Nike and like 
you know, like a more commercial, but the integrity of it can't go away. You know mm. what I'm saying? And okay. that's that's really what most of these pieces are. There's a lot of integrity behind them. And I wouldn't compromise that for anybody because if I do that, then I'm not being true to myself and I'll probably just go crazy. <laughs> okay, okay. So even if it did get as big as Nike, would you still release uh, exclusive pieces as well? For sure. Yeah, because yeah. that's one of those things that you got there. Like, I'd be like, sold out, sold out. So I'm like, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I get a lot of, I get a lot of flack for that. Like people say, "Man, you didn't, like just do another run." And Bring some, back the moccasins. Yeah, no. Nah, so the <laughs> moccasins, the moccasins are there. We okay. just it's just it's a time and a place for it. Right mm -hmm. now, I just feel like you know, if, if people want the moccasins, they know where to get them from. They know they can come to me and say, "Yo, I need that size," and I I'll give it to you. But really, yeah, for Thank sure. You. He wants some yeah, moccasins. For sure. Yeah, I got, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I got you, man. Got to pay that price. It is yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I got you, man. But it's it's not, you know, it's 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 one of those things where it's like. The exclusivity of it and like it being limited and stuff like that that's like the identity of the brand so like that would never go away you yeah know? It, you know and it helps i'm not, I'm not gonna lie helps. i feel good when i'm like i can finally get one you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i've got a couple of i've gotten a couple of pieces and it's like yo like i'm like i'm gonna go down they have the opening i'm gonna pick up those pieces i need exactly. to get early because i know get they this only jacket got, they only got a few of my size yes. so let me get mine before the other big guys show up yep. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean that's just kind of what it is but once you got it i also know i'm like nobody else gonna have this one mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's just what sure. it is so yeah yeah i see i see what it is but it, it's just such an enjoyable brand like it really is so what are the future plans of a herd of bison? Um, yeah, man. So this year we'll be in some stores. I'm not gonna say the names right now because, like, as we're like having this, we're yeah we're talking about that. But we'll be in like a couple of big stores in Houston. So um, okay. that a lot of people love. So that and uh, so they'll be carrying our stuff. Next month is about to go crazy. Like y'all thought that the pieces that we did in the past with the split faces and all that was like crazy but i'm so excited about february man because like you know we 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 don't really have you know herd of bison represents everybody you know I've, I've highlighted indian i've highlighted white people i put obama with jfk on the mm -hmm. shirt like yeah so it, it really it's, it's really like no um no limits but black history month man like we got some pieces it's like nuts and 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 like i'm excited about that like i posted something the other day i think yesterday i was just like Damn, like, was it too early to post it? But I'm so, I'm geeking because, like, I'm excited about these pieces. And, like, yeah, we're going to really, like, make make some, uh, make people look at things a different way come, mm -hmm. come next month, man. But, I yeah, like that, man. consistent. I like the mission, man. You are consistent. Two years in. And y'all feel it. like y'all been here longer, but everything that you drop is, like, mad. It's really dope. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, especially since... I mean, you have been here longer since you've mm -hmm. been releasing, and I like, I just like the fact of you saying like, "Herd of Bison" is the culmination of all the mistakes that I've made. So, you know, I I know besides, I guess besides for that monetary aspect where you're mm -hmm. saying I can't price, what are I mean, looking at if we got kids that are looking at it, uh, kids, adults that are like, "Yo, I really would like to get." into this like i guess what's some other advice you can hand out or just say hey like learn from me like yeah. <laughs> you know something yeah for sure man um the first thing i would say is like is no such thing as the orthodox way i mean that's like all opinionated right so okay. everybody got like different um avenues in which they get to the goals that they have so understand that the way that you think um you know you can streamline it any way that you want and I, I like to tell people that man because a lot of people say like you, you should do it this way you got to do it this way man nah like you don't um but be true to yourself man and, and like don't compromise your integrity or whore out your talent and like don't do that like to me i feel like that's a big thing man like a lot of people um you know uh just depend well it depends on what the motive is if you just only just want to make money and like that's your thing then you might want to do the trendy things and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But if you like, if you're like a true artist and like you have passion behind every piece that you design or whatever it is, whatever, whatever you're, whatever you're doing, don't compromise your integrity or like whore out your talent. Be true to yourself and like time with time, it will, it'll happen. I mean, you know, so you see some people, if you, here is the 
the nine to five part. I mean, if you're looking at a trend, and you know you see certain brands is like the peak on the trend from you know the, the X and the Y axis coming from the left. If you look at it, you know it may make a lot of money here, like in the beginning because they're following the trend, and then like it's trendy, so it's gonna go down, you know. And a lot of people um, chase that, but if you stay true to yourself, maybe you know you may have just a consistent like moderate pace but you have longevity and you have a product that's that's uh that's um timeless you know and these these yeah. people, it's not a trend and you you're, you're like you're there for a long time so when we were celebrating the two year it wasn't it was like really telling people like yo like we really appreciate y'all like really rocking with us for two years because a lot of times you know somebody say man i want to i want to do a brand i'm doing this brand and then they die out and which i hate to see that and i almost want to like call them and say yo man Release some more shit, cause like, <laughs> you know you, you you I love what you was doing, you know, but you yeah. can't do that all the time. But yeah. but um yeah, don't hold out your don't hold out your talent, man. You know if 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 it's for the money, then all right, cool. Just know that it's probably gonna be short lived, and you know uh, with that comes certain things. But yeah, just be diligent and just don't give up. Be consistent, man. That's what I would tell people. Be okay. consistent. That's good. Do what you do. It it can't be unorthodox as long as it gets done. For sure, man. I like that. You have sure. a, a good positive mindset. And everything that you're doing, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. That's a, that, I appreciate you coming out. Yeah, like, really we've been do, trying man. to get you. We were gonna, like I said off camera. I said we were, gonna, you know, we working on getting cameras come out. I was yeah. like, nah, we got to go ahead and get them down here now. Especially once I went up to the two year, I was like, yeah, we just got to go ahead and get you yeah. in the studio. Because like, yeah, now. he he agreed to I do want it people last year. I said I want people <laughs> to hear your story, yeah. and I want more people exposed to actually seeing like the brand. And seeing what you guys have to offer, mm. especially if you've got like you know more pieces coming out in Black History Month, get yeah, people out, sure. get people to come out and see see what you guys got. For sure, man, I appreciate it, man. It's I appreciate platforms like this, man. You know, y'all thank just you highlighting highlighting people in the city. That's like awesome, man. And shit, it took a year and a half, but shit, if y'all to hit me. The first time you thought about it, I would have been here, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. That was my first mention. You was open. I was literally like, yo, we got to go ahead and get them all, too. Because I said, every time I see him, I'm like, yo, we about to let's get the interview together. I was like, man, let's just go ahead and have you come down. And when we finally do get our cameras and stuff together, we want to come out and film y'all out and about. Because I I really want, and I I will say this, like, people go to the website. People come out to the events because... The the I guess the limitation of having you in the studio is we've shown like some of the pieces, yeah. but you really can't experience what it is until you actually can go out and like I y'all should really go out and see the work, like go mm-hmm. see the art, see the hat, see the 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 jackets, the hoodies, the shoe, like all the stuff coming together, and you usually put together a really good presentation, yeah. Of what it is you're trying to do. It's like an art gallery. Yeah. It's an event. That's what it is. Yeah. It's an it's a art gallery happening, and you get to take a piece home and wear it. It's true. So that's what it is. Definitely so, yeah, appreciate we appreciate it. you coming out. Hey, man. Really thank y'all, man. Thank everybody, man. Thank. I'm just forever grateful, man. I'm, I'm always. Now, real quick, too, give me your information. Where can they find you? Yes. Yeah. Um, On IG, I heard of bison. At I heard of bison. Uh, my personal is at Kareem Day, K A R E E M D A A Y, at Kareem Day, and um, www.aheardabison.com is the website. Yep. And uh, your speakeasy once again. Speakeasy is um, 2002 Reynolds, Houston, Texas. Come out Saturdays. Um, also, come out to now too, man. We got a good program that we'll be progressing too with uh, a lot of events. Um, going there we'll be talking about that a little bit a little bit uh in the future but yeah come out man and just just hang out man i i, I, I like to see everybody man i i hate talking through through ig with people that i don't i can't i'm like I, <laughs> yeah. it's not tangible like you know what i'm yeah. saying like i'd rather just yeah. sit next to a person and chop it up and you know pick brains and like learn you know i like to listen so no, we appreciate you coming out we do appreciate yeah. you coming Thanks out so we appreciate i mean it's connecting the dots everybody messes with you 
Dustin Prestige, Todd, Tubo, like almost everybody who's been on this show. Everybody kept coming up also wearing the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like everybody kept up. Like, oh, you know, okay. everybody. Like, has say, even when I'm Jack like, was up here, yeah. everyone was like, where you get them shoes yeah. from? That's like, what I was telling him. Oh, I said, boy. yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. First time I heard of it, I was like, yeah. My brother, yeah, and Jack was like, you don't know? I was like, man, I'm late to the party. <laughs> but it is <laughs> what it good. is, man. <laughs> it's all so, good, man. So w- once again, this is uh, Carlton Banks, Carlton with a KBA and Triple X. Also, there were just Devon, boom, and <laughs> <laughs> he with this uh, this boom. I like You're it. Gonna get the boom I'm going to get the boom. We're going to get it right. Okay. It's new. Uh, <laughs> we've been here with the founder of a herd of bison, Kareem Day. Thank you for coming out, man. Sure, Follow man, the herd, pleasure. man. Follow the herd. This is a, uh, in my humble opinion, where the opinions are humbled and the words aren't jumbled.